to my kitchen meals with Mills. In this episode, I am super excited to introduce to you my new meat pie series. Um, what that means in the next coming weeks, I will be making a different flavor meat pie. But tonight's video, I'm going to start with our famous steak and cheese pie. First of all, I'm going to start with making my short crust pastry from scratch. I'm going to use the puff pastry for the top from the shop, but later on I'll be make my, uh, making my own puff pastry. So we will start by adding, I have three cups of flour, so three and one third cups of plain flour, all purpose flour. I have two eggs, chilled eggs so it's been sitting in the fridge i've also got cold water and butter that's been sitting in the fridge as well so first i'm going to add a food processor add our flour So I'm going to process that first and then I'll add the other ingredients. Okay, make sure we close it down. That's it. Let's mix through the flour. Just keep stirring. coming along well. Just have to mix through this area. I'm going to add our eggs and then slowly add the water. You can see the crumbs, they're starting to come together. I'm using a mini food processor, so be good if you have a bigger one but this is this is good it's doing the job okay I'm adding our eggs one by one Okay, at this stage, I'm going to add, start with three teaspoons of cold water. I'm 
make you add one more teaspoon. Okay. So at this stage, it's because I'm using a mini food processor. Um, the amount of flour I have in here, I don't have a a normal size food processor so I'm just making do with what I have but it's doing the mixing um, well than I expected so all I need to do now is transfer it to a bowl and then I'll mix it uh, a little bit longer just to make sure that everything is mixed in well and then I'll put it in the, in the fridge for about half an hour to an hour 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, let me transfer this to a bowl. She just, I just mix it through on the bench. Okay. Okay, put it in the cling wrap. wrap or cling wrap and then we're going to put this in the fridge for about half an hour to an hour before we can start assembling our pies in the meantime I'm going to start preparing our steak gravy for our meat pies Okay, so you cut your meat in chunks, um, not too small, but in chunks like that. You want to be able to have a nice big chunk of steak when you bite into that steak and cheese pie. So this size will do. I am using uh, rum steak, but any steak, um, you can use, you can use any steak and then you can cook it in a slow cooker for, for some time so the beef can be very nice and tender. If you don't have a slow cooker or pressure cooker it's okay you can use the pot on the stove and you can cook it very very slow but I will show you in a minute how I do the gravy and the ingredients I'll be using so these are the ingredients for our beef gravy I have one stalk of celery one large onion chopped half a cup of plain flour one fresh bay leaf half teaspoon of sage, two tablespoon of tomato paste, one teaspoon of paprika, about five cloves of garlic minced, salt and pepper for flavoring, olive oil for frying, and of course our steak has been chopped up. So I am going to start making our gravy now. I will toss our meat with plain flour. Turn your oven on. Okay. And I add a few 
3 tablespoons of olive oil and we will add our beef What I'm doing here, I'm just browning our meat and then I'll transfer it to a bowl and start our sauce and then add the meat back into the sauce. Okay, that's that the right colour master. Making meat pies, it might take some time to make them at home. But trust me, if you make pizza then at home, you can always store them in the freezer and you can reheat it next time for dinner, serve it with like mashed potato or sweet potato and some steamed veggies on the side and that's a, a really nice yummy dinner for the family. garlic now, our tomato paste, and our paprika, nice sage, our bay leaves, I'll add our celery as well. And then our beef stock. Just a stir. after but I'll also add our meat now don't forget I will have all the ingredients and the measurements available in the description below so check it out so if you are cooking this on the stove this is the process that you start with and then you can transfer uh, the gravy into a baking dish and bake it in the oven for about two and a half hours on low i would say about 150 degrees south uh, 150 degrees Celsius or 180 for two and a half hours otherwise you can transfer which I will be doing um, I'll transfer this into my pressure cooker it, and I'll cook it in there for uh, for about half an hour can see our gravy is thickening from that flour that I coated the meat with in the beginning so our bay leaf is in there our celery stalks I will remove these towards the end of the cooking process but this will give it a nice flavor for our gravy I'll add about one tablespoon of 
soy sauce, dark soy sauce. I forgot to mention that ingredients in the beginning, but I am adding one tablespoon of dark soy sauce to our gravy. So let's add salt and pepper now. Smell the celery, I can smell the bay leaves, sage, and all the flavoring I added in there. It tastes really nice too. I'm going to turn it off now. I will transfer it to my pressure cooker there and I will cook it for about 50 minutes to half an hour. I just want our meat to uh, be tender a little bit and then we'll cool it down and assemble our pies. pastry is now ready our gravy beef our steak gravy is ready I have our cheese that will go into the pies and even our pie tins I have um, buttered our, our tins so I'm going to roll our pastry now okay. set to re-roll again put it together with the other pastry we will set through a pie tin and we're going to press it down steam out during the cooking process. Okay, I'm going to add our gravy now to the pies. Just like that. And then you just 
gonna add your cheddar cheese on top. Like that. Make sure you add enough cheese and spread it around. Going to get a half pastry now. Gonna get water and we will just brush the side of the pastry. If it's easier, you just go with your hand or fingers and go around. And you're going to put this on top. And then press it down hard. Go with a fork and just put Slightly go through with a fork. Go back with the fork and just rest the edges down just to make a pattern as well as closing those two edges again. We will brush the top of our pies and then we will bake it in the oven. I'm just going to transfer our pies to the oven and we will bake it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll take it out, take the pies out of the tin and then bake it for another five minutes. So there we go, our pies are now ready. Um, it's been baking in the oven for about 20 minutes and then I took it out of the tin and then left it in there for a few more minutes. I'll say just under five minutes. So all together it's between 20 and 25 minutes until they're um, nice golden brown. Reason being is because they're bigger size um, meat pies. Uh, but if you bake the smaller ones or if you make the smaller ones uh, of course will be the time will be less so here's our pies our first ever um, flavor of our pie series which is steak and cheese i will taste it now and see what it looks like inside and see what it tastes like and here It's also been cooled down for a few minutes so that's what it looks like inside and if you can see clearly I will take a closer video of the inside but if you can see the cheese and the steak 
Okay. Taste the cheddar cheese as well. The pastry is it's nice and crunchy too. It's just right. So can you see the thickness? And our gravy tastes really nice with all those flavouring. Thank you again for watching this episode for our first ever series of um, meat pies. Stay tuned because I will be making another flavor pie. So hope you can come back for more pies. Thank you again for watching. See you later.